Hey y'all, my name is Teresa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As many of you already know, I created this channel to help raise awareness for addiction and talk about my daughter's story, her battle, and her loss to addiction as well as my family's life after loss. I am sorry I've been away for a little bit. My husband and I went on vacation and then we came back and went to my mother's house and he did some fixings on her home. So we were away for a little bit, but I wanted to thank you all so much for your patience and for supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about my daughter and just the person that she was. Heidi was loving, but she tend to wear her heart on her sleeve. She kind of got that from me, and she had the biggest heart. She tend to take people under her wing and basically try and heal them and put herself last when it came to her friends. She was a great friend and an amazing daughter and an, a loving mother. She and I, when we would get together, we would just laugh about the silliest things. We didn't have to have any specific reason or rhyme. Our personalities were a lot alike. We always like to make the best of everything and joke about everything. And just kind of, you know, she was a free spirit. Heidi loved everything about life. And the more fun she could have, the happier she was. But with that came her addiction, which she struggled deeply with. She got sober many times, but when she got sober throughout the years, it was only temporary long enough for her to go into a rehab, sometimes complete it and sometimes not. And then sometimes she would go to jail and sober up for a little bit and then she would get out of jail, be okay for a couple days and then she would relapse and she would get back into the same pattern that she was in before. It was extremely difficult trying to get my daughter sober. She half the time denied having a problem or she would tell me that, you know, she didn't need help. She was fine. You know, I was imagining stuff. I didn't know what I was talking about. But as her mother going through, going through it with her throughout the years, I knew what the signs were. She couldn't hide it from me any longer. And that actually upset her. And that caused a huge wedge between us during her addiction. And that's what would keep her away because she knew that I could sense it and I would be able to tell when she was under the influence. So she would, she would go on her binges and stay away for a while and she would miss her kids and then tell me that she would want to get help and I would try to find rehabs for her and do what I could for my end and tell her, you know, I can only find them. I can't walk you in there. You have to make that decision. There were times when she would go get drug tested and I found out later she was using the pee pack to pass the test so that they wouldn't violate her probation. And I never even knew it. And I didn't even know that was possible. And so she, she wouldn't listen until she was ready. And that's the thing with addicts. Until they are ready, there's nothing you can do to get them to get sober until they 
are personally ready. They have to make the decision themselves. They have to be ready. That is what's really important to understand is no matter how much we want it as their parent or loved ones or friends, until the addict is ready to get help, there's nothing you can do. One thing that I learned along the way is not to enable her. You could be there and you could love them without enabling them. And it took me a little while. There were different things that I enabled her throughout the years that I didn't even realize. And so I learned along the way and I stopped doing it. And the saying is when an addict is mad at you, that means that you're doing what's right for them. But when they're happy with you, usually it means that you're enabling them and giving them what they want. And many times my daughter was angry with me. And those were the times that I knew I was doing the right thing. No matter what, I always fought for my daughter to try and get her sober. Each time was a little bit different though. At the beginning of her addiction, I was saddened for her and heartbroken that she was struggling with this. In the middle, you know, I had empathy and sadness. And along the way, as it got further along, I started pulling back on things that I would do for her. And I had to have her put forth the effort. And by that, I mean meetings that she, you know, she was going to. I had to have her schedule those appointments, those meetings, instead of me setting them up or me doing everything for her. But it was worth it to me to do whatever I needed to do to get her into rehab, to get her sober. And it was a very painful ride throughout her addiction. There were many times that she didn't like me. And many times she said the meanest things to me. And then later she would apologize for, for saying those nasty words to me. She always said, you're the only person that has ever stood by me the entire way and never gave up on me. And I never would. I would never give up on her. I would, I'm her mother. And I never wanted to see her hurt or in pain. And if that meant that I was fighting for her when she wasn't able to fight, I was going to do that. I wasn't going to give up. We don't give up on our children. We don't give up on loved ones that need us. She fought really hard. Many times I could see how defeated she was. And that was the hardest time for me. It was when she just gave up on everything. She, she felt like she had no hope, even knowing that her family was there for her. There were times she just felt like she had no hope. And I had to remind her that there was hope. That her children were here and they love her and her family loves her. But addiction had a hold of her. It was a terrible, deep, vicious cycle for her that she struggled with beating. So when she did get sober... She was sober for over a year, and I had my daughter back. I hadn't seen her that happy and full of life in a long time. But she was back, and she was loving and amazing, driven, strong, amazing.
she was my hero because she had been through hell and back with her addiction and she beat it. And I was so proud of the accomplishment and the change that she made, knowing how hard it was and how long she fought. I could sit here all day and tell you how amazing she was. But even my words can't describe what a beautiful human being she was. And our lives are empty without her. But I will continue sharing her story and ours in hopes to help somebody out there that may be struggling or a family member that's lost a loved one due to addiction. I will fight in any way I can to help raise awareness. And I thank you for joining me in this fight and supporting my channel. Please help me by sharing, subscribing if you haven't, and liking so that we can get the word out there to help raise awareness. I will be going live Wednesday night for anyone that's interested. I will be taking questions and answering them. So if you're interested, I will be going live 6 p.m. Mountain, Mountain Standard Time. And I look forward to all of you there. I will be making another video here in the next few days. Thank you all for your love and support. Have a blessed day.